Hi guys, I'm back with another episode of The Approachable Agent and today's question is related to another question that we've had which, how do I find an agent online? This time I've got, how do I approach an agent? And it really comes about because nowadays there are many, many, many publishers who do not take unsolicited manuscripts. And so as a first start, if you would like traditional publishing, you need to find an agent who would be a good partner for you. So how do you approach the agents that you think might be a good fit? Well, this is a really great question because I'm afraid that there might be some people who might have had a good shot with an agent, but because they didn't necessarily go about it the wrong way, they, they didn't leave the best first impression that they could. And I don't want that to happen to you. So how do you approach an agent? Well, the very first thing I need you to do is you're writing a list, right, of the agents who might be a good fit for you. The very uh, next thing that you need to do is check out their website. I think in this day and age, most people have websites, especially if they're in business. And whether they are a boutique agency or a larger agency, there is a website that you can go check out. The reason you need to do it, you need to see their submission guidelines. So depending on where you found out about this agent, whether you met them uh, offline at say a writer's festival, or you met, uh, found them online through an interview, or maybe you checked them out in, in the acknowledgement section of a book, I want you to go to the website and find out how they want you to approach them. You find that on a submissions page. Now some agents might want you to fill out a contact form. If they do, do that. Some agents might want you to send an email query with a synopsis in the first case. If they do, do that. Some might want you to send snail mail, which is totally rare, <laughs> granted, but it's possible. Whatever they've said on their submissions form, I want you to believe it. Now here's the thing, I know you've written a magnificent manuscript and I know that any agent should be really excited to read it. But chances are that if they've said they're no longer accepting a memoir, even though they've written the best memoirs and your memoir is an exact fit for them, if they say they're no longer taking memoir, I want you to believe them. Because even if you send it through, chances are your email will be deleted. And it's not because they don't respect your writing or they don't want to deal with anyone new. It's just they've set these boundaries for a particular reason. I don't know their reasons, but some of the reasons I might do it are I have enough in that genre or I find that the publishers are giving a bit of pushback and they're not reading in that particular genre at the moment, not forever, just for a while. Whatever the reason, it's really important that you respect what they've shared with you thus far. And rest assured, if you do that, you are leaving the very best first impression you can. Secondly, if it lists on their submissions page that they are not actively taking submissions, I need you to understand that that's a truth as well. And they will change their website when that is updated. If you don't follow those, those basic rules, I'm afraid that it's really unlikely that they're gonna read your work even if they are the best partner possible. So all of that said, if you have actually met an agent at a writer's festival or a workshop or something else, I wanna give one little caveat. Maybe they've been nice enough and they've actually given you their card and said, hey, you know, get in touch. What does that mean? That means I want the very first thing you do to reach out, probably via email, just with a hello just with a hello and a reminder of how they met you, where they met you, and maybe a little bit about your conversation because chances are, especially at a writer's festival, they may have run into a lot of people and it can be really hard to remember specifics. So just saying, hey, I'm John and I met you, that may not be enough to jog their memory. But this first email is just to reintroduce the good feeling that they had that caused them to give you their card in the first place. And then allow them the space to come back and say, oh, I'm so glad you got in touch. Now is a perfect time. Please send me your synopsis and first three chapters or, hey, I'd love that synopsis and your full manuscript and your bio, whatever it is. It's a relationship you're building. 
And so the most important part is to understand that not only do you want them to represent you potentially for the manuscript, but chances are you're going to be setting up a long term relationship and they're going to go to bat for you with publishers. And we want to start off that relationship on really great footing. And so that means showing them the respect that you know that you want them to show to you for the incredible work that you've done with your writing. So that's it. That's how I would say to approach an agent. Has that answered your question? If not, put your question in the comments below and chances are I will be answering it on another episode of The Approachable Agent. I'll see you next time.